Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn related rates. The problem. Find the rate at which some quantity is changing by relating the quantity to other quantities whose rates of change is known. For example, you are given y a function of x x a function of t and a constant rate of change dx dt if the rate of change is increasing dx dt will be positive if the rate of change is decreasing dx dt is equal to a negative number we need to find the changes of y in time sometimes we say rate of change of y or we could also say how fast is the changing when x is equal to some value or number so dy dt is equal to we differentiate f against x because f is a function of x so we have df dx and we can substitute the value of x into x times dx dt because x is a function of t example the value of x is increasing at a constant rate of 4 how fast is y equal to 3x square plus 2 changing at the instant x equal to 2 you are given dx dt equal to plus 4 plus because x is increasing you need to find dy dt when x equal to 2 dy dt is how fast y is changing we will get dy dt is equal to 6x x is a function of t so you get dx dt plus 0 because when we differentiate a number you get 0 and this is equal to 6x times dx dt so what we need to do is substitute 2 into x and 4 into dx dt because the value of x is increasing at a constant rate of 4 the answer is 48 Example 2 The value of y is decreasing at a constant rate of 1 We have x square plus y square equal to 6 to 5 The question is How fast is x changing at the instant x equal to 7? given dy dt equal to minus 1 now we have minus sign because y is decreasing we want to find dx dt when x equal to 7 the changing of x with time dx dt
we differentiate, we get 2x. x is a function of t. You have to multiply with dx dt plus 2y. y is also a function of t. So, we have another dy dt equal to 0. Because when we differentiate a number, we will get 0. So, dx dt is equal to minus y over x dy dt. We have the value of x which is 7. We have the value of dy dt which is minus 1 but we don't have the value of y. So, we need to use x square plus y square equal to 6 to 5 to get the value of y. From x square plus y square equal to 6 to 5, you get y equal to square root of 6 to 5 minus x square which is equal to 6 to 5 minus 7 square because x is equal to 7 equal to square root of 6 to 5 minus 49 equal to square root of 576 equal to 24 now you can find dx dt dx dt is equal to minus y over x so y is 24 and x is equal to 7 times dy dt dy dt equal to minus 1 and this is equal to 24 over 7 thank you